Hello everybody. What am I doing on camera? Why it is Alicia with Pretty Geeks, Freaks, and Nerds. I am here to bring you a makeup tutorial. As you can see, it is a different location. I have finally moved. I have finally been able to kind of start getting a little more of a norm back to my life and hopefully I'll be able to kick out some more makeup videos. I know it's been quite a grip and I know you've been very patient to watch me be an awkward asshole, but that's okay because I'll be awkward for us all. So if you want to know how to go from this pale, slightly questionably might be sick sort of human to... So obviously you see me with makeup on. If you obviously want to know how to get the eyebrows, not the makeup yet, that'll be a future video. Please stay tuned and continue watching. All right, my pretty geeks, so we are talking about the mythical creature that is eyebrows. I know in this day and age, everyone either knows how to do eyebrows, and they are beautiful, they are questionable, and they are slightly too perfect, or they are forgotten, they are gone. They are Dobie the Free Elf has been given a sock, and he will do his eyebrows however he please, or however he doesn't want to. Yeah, we're doing eyebrows. So you're going to need a couple products today. I recommend one, just... Get yourself a matte eyeshadow that's close to your hair's natural color or, I guess, in unnatural if you want to go whichever direction, I ain't judging. And then get something of a straight surface. It could be a katana. It could be a ruler. I guess those are straight too. Or it could be, I'm going to use my cutting comb that I use to cut people's hair with. Alright, so what you will be doing with these is you're going to be measuring as to where your eyebrows should start. So. For me, I'm going to kind of adjust my mirror over here so I can see you all. So my, for where you want it, your eyebrows to start, you want to focus on this kind of corner. I don't know what this point is of your nose, but right there. What you're going to do is smack it right onto your face and it should line up. Your eyebrows should start here. They should not start out here. They should not start. At, they should not be gone and erased. I mean, if you're going for RuPaul, then girl, you better block them eyebrows out. But we're just talking about the points of the eyebrows. So here is where your eyebrows start. I have a couple hairs missing because they shoot out this way and they're all about space invaders, but mine start right here. They should be right along where you would almost have the line of contour to your nose. Second is the arch of your eyebrow. You're going to go from about mid of your nose to the outside corner, or out, I guess outside edge of your pupil. You'll go there, you'll measure, and then you'll put. Where that is should be your arch. So for me, this is where my, well, my arch begins. And then last is where your eyebrow ends. Shove that straight edge, shove that katana, shove that broadsword that you stole from William Wallace, shove it under your nose and take it to the corner of your eye and go up. I'm missing a couple hairs, so shame on me. But your eyebrow should end right about there. They shouldn't go past, they shouldn't go any shorter, they should not be questionable. They should just, those are the three points. Those are kind of your line here, line there. Your eyebrows consist of generally three lines and then obviously you fill it in. You have one, you have two, you have three, and then you fill in the rest. All right, so next we're going to be doing the actual eye. All right, as you can see, I have done one side of my eyebrow. Well, not one side, but one side of my face for this eyebrow. It is fierce. It can cut a bitch. It may. You don't know. All right, so you're going to need guess three products all together today for just doing your eyebrow. We're not talking about full face today. We're just going to show you how to do your eyebrows because eyebrows are the structure to your face. If you don't got some fierce eyebrows, then your life is in questionable state and you need to address that. So first I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics. I like this one. I like the I like my first edition BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. No, this is not product placement. I just like their stuff because I have super sensitive skin and it helps for me to be able to use their stuff because it is gluten free, it's vegan friendly, it's good stuff, it's cost affordable. So if you're broke like me, you can afford it. So I'm gonna go in, it's kind of a cool, almost a neutral ashy toned brown, but this one right here, I'm hoping you guys can see it. So I'm gonna go in with that one. I've already primed my face. And what I'll be using is then an angled flat brush. Cool, all right, that's my chair creaking on my butt. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna kind of start loading it up. And as I said, you have your three points. So I'm gonna first start with the first point. By the way, I don't do uh, opera eyebrows on myself because for me, that looks weird. My face is already big and my face is already very strong. 
I might as well finish it with a strong brow because I want to make my point across with an arched eyebrow and possibly frighten my enemies. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to set it right there where point number one is. Sometimes I'm just going to kind of wiggle it a little bit. I've also got a zit in the middle of my forehead. It's quite beautiful. Alright, so we did that and then I'm going to draw another line to point B. So you go from there to point B. From point B to point C. We have done it. We have mapped out our freaking eyebrows. Now basically after that, where you have put point A, then underneath it goes to point B. So point B, point C. Just kind of make sure it is strengthened and make sure to fill it in because the last thing you want to do is end up with some wonky freaking eyebrows. I mean, eyebrows are weird in general. They are, think about it. There are literal areas of hair on your face that we will happily go through pain to rip them out. And after we've ripped them out, we will then draw them right back in. We are questionable animals. I didn't even talk about what primer we used, did I? I used the BH Cosmetics to Studio Pro. That, in the shy... Shy... In the shade, very pale, because I don't like the sun. Actually, I do, but if I go in it, I burn. Bad. Okay, so fill it in. You can make them super filled in. You can make them super dark. I just kind of go almost dark. Okay, I just I fill them in. And small, small strokes kind of help to simulate hair. You can use a pen, like an eyebrow pencil. I wrote a pen, a sharpie, tape, crayon, blood of your enemies, whatever it is that you want to use as your medium for this, if it's not eyeshadow, you can. I won't judge you if you have done a blood sacrifice in the name of Shea Goroth and you are going to apply that to your face. Make it work. It might be therapeutic. Okay, cool. We did that. It's filled in. Next, what I do like to do is I like to take... Next, I like to take a spoolie brush. You can get them, they're super cheap. You can get, cheap, ha, cheap. You can get them at Walgreens, Walmart, probably Albertsons, any store like that, Rite Aid. I don't know which other stores there are that exist, but every store, probably the dollar store, probably your mom's cabinet. I think that's even where I got mine, was my mom's cabinet. I'm afraid. What I'm doing is I'm just kinda, helping to almost just kinda guide the rest of it in. There we go, it's looking quite freaking tabulous. All right, so then I guess between we both did primer, we did eyeshadow, and now to kind of help to kind of finish it up, I'm gonna use concealer. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Foundation and Concealer Palette, 10 color. This, I'm gonna use the color that's light enough for my pale face, because I might as well just use light, just white clown paint, because I'm pretty effing pale. I'm pale, guys. I'm pale world. If you didn't know, I'm very pale. I glow in the dark. The vampires are even scared of me because I might burst into flames if I even get a flashlight shined in my face. And so what I'm going to do is this is just a paint brush. I am not shitting you. I am using a paint brush. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby or just a store. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go underneath point A to point B and draw a very, very precise line and knock it out on the rest of my flap and frick and frack and frack eyebrow and then from point B to point C again another another line it's gonna help to kind of hide your mistakes draw a little happy bush right there and then I'm gonna go right here right at point A Boop. so I'll go up here point A to point B I better be in a shot. I'm gonna be so pissed if I'm not. And then point B to point C again. Slide. Slide. Look at that. We are fabulous. Okay, so we did that. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Beauty blender! 
I'm going to just kind of buff out those lines with concealer. Because we're ultimately going to do the rest. Of, I mean, if you want to go out in public like this, I am not judging you. If you don't want to buff it out, it might be avant-garde. It might be couture. It might be whatever fancy fashion, weird, very ugly, lot, you know, standard it is. But, hey, I ain't judging. And just buff it out. Try not to get on top of your eyebrow, because then you're just going to buff your eyebrow into your face, and then you're just going to be a big smear mess. And all that good hard work we did with those eyebrows is for nothing. Alright, so I'm going to finish buffing out my eyebrow. You guys get the very general shape of it. So the next, what you do after this is you just put your full face makeup on and you look dragalicious and you just get out there and you just cut the bitches with your contour, your eyebrows. And you make sure they know that you know how to do eyebrows. Alright, so stay tuned. You're going to see me in just a moment with my full face. In reality, it probably took me like two hours to get the contour perfect. Alright, look at this. I'm like a totally different creature with all this makeup on my face, but I feel fierce and flawless. Hopefully you went ahead and did all your makeup. If not, if you're just walking around with some fierce eyebrows and that's it, hey, more power to ya. I don't mind. But as said, if you enjoyed this makeup video, or I guess this is the first time I'm going to say, if you enjoyed this makeup video, feel free to subscribe. And if you liked it, well, give it a like because I like that as well. If you did not like this video, don't do either. I, yeah, I don't know what to say to that. But I'll leave in the link, the description, I'll leave links to both my Facebook, my Instagram, as well as BH Cosmetics, where you can be able to get the products that I mentioned in this video. So again, feel free, stay tuned, I'll have more videos.